we're just approaching the Wangi in the Kilpatrick Hills, an Ockneden Hill that you can see the uh, cliff line that runs to the, the Wangi. That cliff is made of a basalt sill, so that's a kind of horizontal intrusion, and it's harder wearing than all of the other sedimentary rocks that it was intruded into, so it ends up forming the tabletops of the Kilpatrick Hills and also the sharp scarps with the uh, bits in between being the soft rock. And the Wangi itself is this uh, cleft along the edge of Ockneden Hill and that's actually formed by a landslide. So the bit of the edge of the cliff has fallen away and it's opened up and made this 10 metre high by about 100 metre long cleft in the rock which is probably formed after the last ice age. So during the ice age all of the rock here was covered with ice by several hundred metres and the weight of the ice held everything together. Once the ice has melted that buttressing is lost and everything can collapse down. Those steep slopes start to collapse under gravity once the support of the ice has gone away. Go to oneminutegeology.net for more videos near you and for information about guided geological days out.